Okay, friend. Now we start with the modern classification of virus or LHT system classification of virus. According to it, it has given that we call phylum as as phylum is regarded as what vira. So vira is regarded as the phylum. Got it. And this vira is again classified into two basic forms on the basis of the genetic material. One is called as D oxy vira that is having DNA as its genetic material. The other one is called as ribo The other one is called as that is called as ribo, 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 vira. This is having RNA. So RNA as its genetic material, and here we find that what now DNA as its genetic material. Got it? Again, this DNA deoxyvira is again classified into three class. Class one. Class 2 and class 3. On the shape of the capsid and its normal capsid, one is called as D oxy helical means helical cell. Another one is called as D oxy cubica. That is cubical shape, and the last one is called as the third one is called as that is called as D oxy by N A L by Nala. What do you mean by by Nala? Having both that is cubical structure plus plus what? Na helical structure what right. so deoxy helica deoxy cubica deoxy binala on the basis but here this ribovira is classified into two class is only classified into two class what are the two class called as the first one is called as ribo cubica called as ribocubica and the other one is called as what that is called as ribo helica got it so these are regarded as it is a phylum phylum is called as vira and the deoxy vira and ribo vira is regarded as sub Phylum. So, subphylum deoxyvira having DNA genetic material, subphylum ribovira having RNA as its genetic material. This deoxy matrix is differentiated into three class. So, these are the class, and also this one is also the class. So, class depends on its size or shape, that is of capsid shape. It is the shape of the capsid. So, it is also say it is classified on the basis of this capsid cell whereas this phylum and subphylum are classified on the basis of this what nucleic acid so this is all about your modern system classification that is called as l h and t classes long forms and law forms and terminus classification got it so this is all about your modern system of classification now next move on to the last part that is cryptogram forms what do you mean by cryptograms now is the very important part 
the cryptograms of virus that is it was given by Gibbs scientist and Harrison scientist and it is based the cryptograms are means it is proper system classification by naming the virus or the nomenclature form of virus is now considered as a cryptograms of virus and how it is being named it is named in the form of four coded pairs they are named in the form of four coding pairs that these symbols denote the nature of the classification virus for example we take the example of tmb and this is tmb and the cryptograms written as r slash 1 2 slash 5 e by e slash s slash o accordingly it has been estimated and this is for this RMB. so this four groups this is group 1 this is group 2 this is group 3 and this is group so group 1, pair 1 denotes the first R stands for the nature of nucleic acid, what kind of nucleic acid is present and 1 stands for strand. If it is 1, we call them single strand. If it is 2, we call them double strand. Now the second part denotes the number that is the molecular weight of nucleic acid in millions that is 2 and 5 is the total percentage of nucleic acid present in the virus that is 5 percentage of TMB. So, one is in million, another one is in percentage. The third one is called as the shape of the virus that is shape of the virus is E stands for elongated and the second slice is called as shape of the capsid. may be spherical S, may be elongated E or X stands for complex. And the fourth one, the last one, last one denotes the kind of host that virus infects. If it is bacteria written as B, seeded plants written as S, invertebrates written as I and V waters accordingly it has been given the name and the second code is that a kind of vector, o vector used, okay and in TMB O is written that is 0 means, 0 means no means of vector, this symbol means no means of it, if B stands bacteria is a vector, if B O extends complex vector. So accordingly, these are given, the cryptograms formats are given. So accordingly, say this by this mechanism, it has been estimated that the cryptograms of naming of virus is been classified in four groups, four pairs of groups. Pair one denotes the type of nucleic acid and the nature of strands. Tab, group two denotes the nucleic acid in molecular weights in millions and percentage of nucleic acid various. Group 3, shape of the virus and shape of the capsids and group 4 means kind of the host and kind of the vectors. So friends, this is all about the classification of virus and this modern classification is being accepted. Okay, and modern classification is accepted that is phylum vala. This classification is accepted and this is its cryptograms. So this is all about your virus classification and your next video. Our next video do contains virus size, its shape and structure. And if you want to practice the chapters, questions, MCQ, then or online exam you want to give or doubt clearing, visit our site www.ibioca.com. Okay, friend, thanks. This is all about your virus classification.